imagine if we could go back in time, a hundred years from now, and set foot in Jokopi, Finland, close to the lake of Jalas Järvi, which one day would give its name to the Jalas brand. What would we see and what would we experience on our journey back to the present day? An extraordinary story would be told about strong and determined people fighting for their future through harsh winters, two world wars and a tough competitive business world, continually developing their company to become one of today's strongest brands in the business. Yalas. Juhu and Matilda Villianmar signed the contract to buy the tannery in Jokopi and skilled travelling cobblers are hired to manufacture boots, shoes and other made-to-order leather items. It soon becomes clear to Juhu Villianmar that the use of quality materials and perfection in production is the only way to survive and move forward. During the 1920s, more skilled tanners and workers are hired and production becomes increasingly mechanized. In 1928, the son, Uru Villenmar, moves the main focus of the business towards the manufacturing of shoes. The business takes off and in 1934 is registered as a tannery and footwear dealer. One year later, the company's first shoe store is opened in Jokopi. The production develops to include the manufacture of ski boots, moccasins and winter shoes, leading to the next step taken in 1970 when the production of sports shoes and ski jumping boots really takes off, a success that later on leads to Finland's Matti Nykinen winning three gold medals in ski jumping at the Calgary Winter Olympics. In 1974, the first polyurethane direct injection machine is introduced to produce ski boots and the company's market share continues to grow. When Janas in 1984 buys Alton and Sport and safety shoes, the focus shifts to occupational and safety shoes. This is also when the collaboration begins between Janas and the Swedish company Ayndars. Some years later, Jalas becomes the first manufacturer in Europe to develop the shock-absorbing Ergothan insole for safety shoes. Now an extensive automation in production and the use of manufacturing robots enables a sharp increase in production volume during the coming years. When Janas introduces the 2003 Stabilizator collection featuring the world's first aluminium toe cap, the production volume rises to over 500,000 pairs of occupational and safety shoes per year. Soon after, the successful footstop service is also introduced. During the coming years, thanks to a clear strategy, focus on high-end products and increased exports to Europe and Russia, Yalas secures its position and becomes the market leader in Scandinavia. There's something special about family-owned companies, and that probably explains why in 2008 the Villianmar family accepted the offer from the family-owned Swedish company Ayndars. What is more, Ayndars is also in the same business, and just like Yalas takes its name from a lake close to the company headquarters, Lake Ayn. The Yalas sales organization expands and marketing increases with commercial films and broad promotional campaigns. Yalas, a right for all fötter from Eyendals. Soon, one million euros are invested in a production line for Yalas' new product, Zenit. An important investment that really pays off in 2012 when Yalas becomes the first safety shoe manufacturer to win the famous Red Dot Design Award for its Zenit collection. Two years later, a further 2.9 million euros are invested in the company as sales increase dramatically and Ayndars Tagira safety gloves start being shipped from Jokopi. Of course, an award like the Red Dot doesn't appear out of nowhere, something which the Yalas R&D department is only too aware of as it strives 
constantly for improvement. Design, materials, function, comfort. The list is long when it comes to producing safety products of the highest standard. A result of this work is the new technically advanced Exalta 2 safety shoe launched in 2014. The future is already here. The Exalta 2 safety shoe by Yalas. At the beginning of 2016, Yalas invests in a brand new production line worth a million euros, which dramatically increases the company's productivity. As we know, Machines and production lines can always be copied, but not the people behind them. The people with knowledge, ideas and dedication to the job. At this very moment, at Yalas in Jokopi, an extremely skilled and competent team is at work, fully focused on the present and on the future. A team of professionals who know exactly what it takes to survive as a market leader for a hundred years and for the next hundred to come.